Oh yeah, y'all open up y'all's bank accounts. How much money y'all gonna see, bro? Wiener shit I oh, oh, spent like seventy dollars oh, on wiener shit. <laughs> <laughs> been so bad that at least you just know it's so bad that you don't actually go look at this shit if you go get some food and you don't know how much is in there but you use apple pay and be like damn like fuck yeah yeah nigga that's why i'm still waiting on that motherfucking refund that's whenever i take the shit now i know what income tax season feel like red i can't lie that motherfucking refund have a nigga feeling like all oh, types of shit man i don't know like, he gonna put down payment on Anything, nigga. My shit be negative. I don't even care because pay that the next day. <laughs> nigga living check to check. Baby, I'm working work at now. Hi, I'm Malika and I'm an accounting intern. Today I'm looking for a nice gentleman with some smart spending habits and you know. Alright, come on. What y'all doing? You know what? Also has a little bit of money for fun on the side. Any red flags that would pop out to me would usually be. Me? She know how to dress though. Or she That's where should I get my summer job at? Where you live, bro? If you stay like in DFW, go work at Six Flags and get on some hoes while you work, nigga. Fuck it. Or, you know, I got this method that I think will work. Work at, uh, get a job at Target, right? Super Target. Them bitches be empty, bro. And it's so big, fam. It's only like, what, one manager? Just hide, bro. That's what I do, nigga. I just work at Target, Super Target, and hide, nigga. Just hide the whole shift. Target don't hire nobody, bro. They damn near. I remember they called me in for an interview. I was finna get hired, but I never actually went. And Super Target too. I do live next to Six Flags though. And Super Target, there you go, fam. Yo, do that shit. Just hire your whole shift, new fuck that shit. Don't don't talk to the manager. Find somebody else to hide with, and then if y'all get caught hiding, blame the other nigga and tell them tell the manager that the other nigga told you that that shit was okay. Simple as that, bro. Uh, Never admit to being wrong, at least at work. Excessive spending, lots of gambling. Like, if we're down 300 and you're like, still going, like, let's wrap it up. Three. Damn. She gonna leave my ass, nigga. Now I don't fry, nigga. I'm out of there like shit, bitch. She must not fucking know. I'm tight, nigga. Go pick up an extra shift. Do my calculations. I have 15 for six. I go to work by two days. That's 15 times 12. Nigga, what we at? It's like, what, $300, right? Gonna take that whole shit and put it into, like, six legs. Nigga, that's it, bro. $300 into one six leg. Bitch, you not thinking about the bigger picture. You see what I'm saying? What's 300 times six, y'all? Six, 12, 18. I just made two bands. Not thinking. Two, one. Ooh, okay. Hey, guys, how are we? Good, how are you? Yeah, that's too bad. I have never seen any man at least I've dealt with bank statements in my entire life, but now I might need to check a little bit more. I feel like I'm in power. <laughs> I feel like I'm in control. All right, what the financial aid people say? To be honest, they probably going motherfucking, what's it called, deny my ass, bro. I told them we make a total of $15,000 a year. Uh, I told them all types of bullshit. Yeah, yeah, bro. Straight lied on that shit. I, I click welfare. How many parents do you have at home, nigga? I said, I'm a fucking foster child. I don't know if that shit gonna help with more money, but nigga, I'm trying to squeeze out all the cheese I could fucking get, bro. Fuck them niggas. And I'm not paying this shit back. I told y'all, bro. I'm dying and leaving this college debt for the kids, bro. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? This shit not my fault, man. I, it didn't start with me, so guess what? It won't end with me, nigga. Y'all going in debt already. Let me talk to them little niggas. Bro, y'all niggas in debt. Bitches. Luckily or hopefully in the next few days, I get an email saying you have a refund on the way for about 6K, 7K, something like that. Nigga, I'm trying to go put a down payment down on it. Okay, okay. But what y'all finna go do tonight? What's the move? It's a, what's today, Friday? Can you kick it with me, bro? Fam, get your grown ass on. And I know you in bed laughing and giggling at this shit. Kicking your feet in the air while lying on your fucking tummy. Talking about, can you come kick it with me? Man, get your bitch ass on, bro. What's your name? Hello, my name is Walker. I'm from Long Beach, California. Mm, what do you do for work? Um, right now I work at Barry's. Wells Fargo? Uh, let me see. Wingstop, 11.50. Ticket, bro. I, yo, how many times a week do y'all eat out? Raising canes? Huh? And uh, my dad's company, Kempak Environmental. I'm noticing Robin Hood. 
Yeah, Stocks? you know, I'm trying to invest, set myself up for the future. Ticket match. Pocket watching this press. This nigga broke, man. Like, go to a concert? Yes, I did. Which concert was that? Actually, Five times? I can't pretend like I know who that is, but. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Jesse. Jesse, what do you do for work? I'm currently finishing up my last one day, Eugene. Once a week is crazy, bro. I eat out every single day. Or I'll be back, fam. What time is it, bro? I might not be here, man. Good, good night. Grad at CU Boulder. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. So, what is your philosophy on spending? <laughs> Well, I listened to this podcast mm -hmm. like years ago, and he basically explained it in a way that your money and how you use it is a reflection of your values. So where you allocate your funds to is indicative of who you are as a person. That is a word. I'm seeing a lot of expenses in Colorado. So what's going on with that? Are you coming back to California? Well, um, I don't know how to cook, bro. No, who the fuck still cooks, man? If it ain't air fried, then like, what are we doing? When was the last time y'all real life opened up an oven? That's why, like, I, I air fry some salmon, some chicken, some wings, and dip them in some sauce or some chicken leggies or pies. I'm too a fucking old to be saying that, bro. I'm 32 talking about chicken leggies. What the fuck, bro? I gotta get my life together, fam. Uh, this is why you don't got parlay money? Oh my God, bro. I swear to God, I can't take some of you niggas serious. This nigga just doing it, putting all caps. Kai is live. Why do I give a fuck about any man being like, get the fuck home, bro? God damn. And I don't know, is that like a troll or is he being for real? Like, what am I real life supposed to say to this shit? I wonder if, I wonder if maybe little kids that think like I'm going to put on Kai's and that. As soon as he go live or some shit, bro, come on, man. Fuck that nigga. I just seen him get a hell okay. I mean, a track house gifted to him, bro. Like, come on, man. Fuck. Where we at, bro? I brought pizza the other day. That's why I stick to DoorDash. For real, fam. Nigga, you can't cook pizza. Put your whole parlay on a... Put your whole refund on a parlay. Fuck it. Hey, man, you niggas is... Like, that shit's so fucked up. That shit's so fucked up. <laughs> that shit's so fucked up. So I'm thinking about that shit. I'm mad it's not hit. I mean, we can talk about it later, but, you know, if this works out... We can talk like, about it later. Oh, Jesse, oh, oh. don't start something. <laughs> Hi, number three. Hello. Tell me about yourself. I currently work in the oil refinery. I model professionally, and I have a startup tattoo company. Got my LLC for the other day. Um, so Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I'm noticing some hefty deposits in here. What is the most you've ever spent on a date? I mean, outside of the deposits, I don't like to keep anything in the bank. Everything is typically in cash. But the most I've spent that I could think of was probably about four or five hundred. Okay. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. All right, number four. You like seafood boils? I love seafood boils. You want to go to one? We got to go to one. I was just seeing some crowd therapy. Are you an athlete? Yeah. You play a sport? What sport do you play? I play basketball. Plays basketball. What is your major? My major is business. Really, right now, I'm just trying to learn how to like manage. Nigga, drop out, nigga. Most I spent on a date was two fifty, bro. If to my niggas has ever actually been on dates, what's the most that y'all ever spent? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Look, 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 look. No bullshit, though. No bullshit. No bullshit. Look, y'all. I went out to eat the other day, right? But the total was like, it was like a, but the total was 38, right? Now look. And check this shit out. It was like a little brush spot. Film. The girl come out. And y'all tell me, y'all tell me if I'm a hoe ass nigga like this for this, if this is fucked up. So she come out, she bring the iPad, right? And she on some shit like, she on some shit like, uh, what's that shit called? Oh yeah, Apple Pay, right? Them BBWs. No, I was not with no fucking BBW. But look, check this shit out. Bruh, she bring out like the Apple Pay thing. I scanned, boom, my face. I put it right, it was 38. Boom, right? Nah, I ain't run off on the check. Before it came, I looked at the person I was with. Like I said, you ready to run? 
She said nothing the first time. I said, again, yeah, you ready to run? She talking about something. I heard you the first time. I was really trying to, like, fuck it. She wasn't there. I, man, we just go. But that's like some, bro, that's some lame shit. You know what I'm saying? I was going to pay. I'm just bullshitting this. Uh, don't ever do that, y'all. Please, for the love of God. No, don't do that, fam. That's lame shit. Dying and dash. No, nigga, don't do that shit. I just be bullshitting. But look, check this shit out. I do that. Boom, boom, boom. I put, I put this shit, right? Now, look. In my head, I thought she, like, I was like, okay, that's it. Because I was avoiding, like, the little tip part. But it popped up. Do you want to put a tip? Man, look, she give me the motherfucking iPad like this. She smiled at me, right? But she smiling hard as shit at me like this, jeez. I looked at her. I looked at the shit. I looked at the person I was with. I looked back at the iPad. I looked at her again. Looked at the iPad. Nigga, I clicked no tilt. She turned around like her. Bruh, I felt fucked up though. I didn't like, I felt fucked up afterwards, bro. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Yes, custom tip and then zero film. And then like, I seen like her face get straight and she cleaned up the table for us. Be turned around, she didn't even say like, have a great day or nothing. She just turned around and left. I hurried up and I left before she came back. If she bad, then I tip. Bro, now I told myself from now on, I'm finna start tipping, bro. Should have gave her like 60 cents. Now, nah, like, you know how they got the little percentages? I don't like how they got that shit. It like, bro, it, I feel like I'm getting forced to do this shit. Like, what the fuck is this? This ain't tip or no tip. I feel like you shouldn't ask, but you shouldn't ask the person that they should tip. It should be like, I should be like, hey, how do I tip? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how, fuck, like, why is it popping up saying 15, 20, or 30% tip? The fuck type of shit is that? Why do I got a tip? That's how they get you, bro. They guilt trip. I press no tip. Is that fucked though, fam? Huh? Cause I, bro, I like I had looked it up. They were like, yeah, bro, that's fucked up. Waitresses, bro, they only make two dollars an hour. You should tip. Why the fuck they take the job if it's two dollars an hour? Like that's no disrespect to the waitresses. I'm being dead ass. Why I take the job? If you only rely off tips, what type of shit is that? If you take my number, I'll tip. <laughs> Fuck, I look like saying some dumb ass shit like that. Take my number and I'll tip. Thirsty ass nigga. Bitch gonna look at me like I'm a creep. I'm not gonna... So you talked about wanting to get your finances right. I'm an accounting major. Do you have any kind of experience? Right now I'm taking my first uh, like semester of uh, accounting. You need a tutor? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, we can talk about that. That's dangerous. You ain't even seen what the fuck he looked like. Yo, bro, I'm finna try and go get me a tutor. That's why I'm going to class all first week, y'all. I'm trying to find the tutor, fam. That be qualification. Hopefully, it's not nothing. Man, I be getting fucked up with them classes. They be nothing but Indians, bro. I don't get, I'm not getting tutored by them. Shout out to the Indians, bro. I don't, nah, man. Oh, we don't have to see. Yeah, we will talk about that. We can talk about that. For sure. Tell me about yourself. What's your name? Uh, my name's Nick. Can you talk about this Wiener Schnitzel? What's going on? Wiener Schnitzel? Oh, too old. Oh, yeah. Too old for Like oh. 70 dollars. What age is like? What age is he supposed to have? Dollars on Wiener Central. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a big Wiener Central fan. Um, You're a big Wiener guy. <laughs> you oh can God. say that. Okay. Can you put that back? Can we take that back? No, I go for the ice cream. Best ice cream in town. It's so good. All right, number six. What's going on? My name is Charles. I'm a junior at USC. And go Trojans! Yeah, Fight go on. Trojans for real. Unless you pay fourteen hundred on rent. Yeah, that was my oh, apartment in Rome. Damn, bro. You see, that's why I never move out, bro. 1400 on rent. And that's probably a little at one by one. What type of shit is that? Bro, y'all pay rent. In Rome, what? like, not in this country, in Rome and Italy? Yeah, Rome, Italy. Uh, not Rome, Georgia. Uh, I was just bored this last summer, so I was just like, I had some money saved up. Uh, and I just like bought a little apartment in Rome and uh, you know, ate pasta for a few months and just chilled. It was pretty fire. That's the cool thing about accounting because a lot of your jobs you can definitely travel, work from the computer, work from home, and you can account from anywhere. Go Great, go. so work isn't holding you back from coming with me next time. Work is definitely not holding me back. It will not be a problem. Say one thing in Italian, please. Pensi che sei bellissima. What does that mean? It means I think you're beautiful. That's a lot. You ain't even seen her. Oh, you can't even see me. Girls like that foreign shit, huh? I gotta work on like my my language and shit. Personality is beautiful. 
I can I can paint an image from back here. Okay, that was not sure enough. And unfortunately, it's really no other reason purely because he is the big Wiener Schnitzel spender. Oh. Unfortunately, my lucky number five. My favorite number, I'm no sorry. Way. It's no other reason besides that. I have no reason to eliminate any of you guys. Okay, okay. I swear. You're my boy. He just looked like the typical LA nigga. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. I'm Could so be sorry. It's all right. But just I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. It's purely the wiener shirt, so we can just go after this. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we can. I'd love to. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to look into these accounts a little bit more in depth, so I'm going to bring out my accountant friend, FaZe. Hey, how's it going, Malika? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. What we have here? Who, who, my name's FaZe. Who the fuck is this, is this tall ass? Don't hold him, and I'm an accountant. Bro, y'all, you know what? That's how you know I'm short as shit. Every time I see a tall nigga, I get mad, bro. I get agitated. More in depth, so I'm going to bring out my accountant friend, FaZe. Yo! Hey, how's it going, I'm, I'm good. How are you? you? I seen this tall ass. He ain't even say nothing. He a cool guy. I just start getting mad, man. The fuck is this tall ass dude? Get your like it, bro. Yeah, the fuck on, bro. He should be pissing me off, man. Tall ass nigga. Let me see this shit, bro. He found his head. You six foot. Nigga, I told you I'm 32 and 5'5. Five five. The fuck you mean six foot, bro? You trying to be funny. I'm great. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Fuck your whole family, whoever said this shit. <laughs> My name is Faison Odom, and I'm an accountant. So going to the NFL, first off, it was fun playing for the Steelers. Um, it was a blast playing with people that I looked up to as I was in college. But once it got to a point where I received my sixth injury, it... God damn, nigga. This nigga glass, bro. Drink some milk, dude. Six. Crazy as shit, man. God damn. It's NFL, though, I forgot, bro. I thought he was talking about basketball. Okay, NFL, that makes sense. Y'all niggas is dumbasses. Y'all don't do nothing but hit each other. Head hits with helmets. Niggas be getting into fights, start punching helmets. Like, okay, that makes sense. Now I had to think about it, bro. Six is crazy. And the NFL made sense. He was out there getting flooded. <laughs> they say he was out there getting home, bro. Yo! Just had to pivot, had to figure out what I wanted to do. I made the transition to accounting and to my surprise, there's a lot of things that I learned on my journey of sports that I could apply to accounting. Bro, like them head hits, is, that CTE shit, see, that's not even a myth. I just know CTE real. I'm not saying that, like, I hope you don't, I don't think he got it, but it's like, the way football players act, I forgot what team it was. That was, like, this was like last weekend or two weekends ago. Bro, it was like pregame. And then came over there, he ain't even take off his helmet, nothing. Just pure hands start punching on another nigga helmet like this. Like, bro, you're not doing, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, it be that shit like, bro, what What the fuck? What are you doing? You know, and that's like, that's whenever I start noticing, bro, all them hits to the head really do fuck niggas up, man. So to all the football players out there, bro, y'all be smart, man. Please, please do not treat them fucking helmets like punching bags. Them niggas cannot feel them hits, bro. Yo, nigga, look at Aaron Hernandez. He's dead, bro. Did they ever look at his brain? All right, FaZe, help me out. I really need your help. I'm trying to look into these accounts. Tell me more. What's going on? Let's start with number one, Walker. So let's talk about these Robin Hood withdrawals. How's that going for you? It's going all right so far. I've just been uh, taking it out, putting it in where it needs to be. I also bet. I do sports betting, so. Pro Let me tell you something, bro. Don't take this nigga. He, he, he's like. Nigga doing sports betting, Robin Hood, every, he just trying to make a fucking dollar, bro. He's trying to make a dime, bro. Next guy. Bro. Picks, I see that. Yeah. How's that going? It's going well so far. I He's lying like shit. Prize picks isn't going well for a single nigga on this planet. The nigga bullshit. Get him the fuck on, bro. Next caller. I went over three last night, but. Like, come on. You see, I just told you, fam. This that delusional shit I be talking about, bro. Them picks that's just getting thrown up. He talking to that. How you doing good and you all for three? Detroit Pistons ad, nigga. Come on, bro. Um, <laughs> that's going well. This is going well. <laughs> As a gambling man, you don't lose until you give up. You know, <laughs> right. Going through your spending for the month. And I see you spend a lot of money on food. In fact, 86%. 
Contestant number two, Jesse, right? Yes, sir. Um, just looking at Jesse, I, you know, would be lying if I said that I wasn't impressed. Looking at his total expenses for the month being at 1,086, and his total income being 1,700, is definitely giving himself room to save, giving, giving himself room to, you know, add to that emergency fund and things like that. Okay. Yeah, see, he got an emergency fund and shit. This is the nigga that I want for my daughter. He like, you know what I'm saying? Savvy guy. He money savvy if it makes sense. Y'all ain't tell y'all got emergency funds? Fuck, no. Openly tattooing anybody that asks. Uh, it's mainly just for myself. I do a couple things here and there on myself and then also uh, friends close by. Masai, do you say you tattoo yourself? I sure do. These I've done myself, um, and then I have a piece on my wow. leg. Y'all getting texts? How many? Damn, how long we been watching this fucking video, fam? I need to get another tattoo. Nah, for real, like, I'm for this. Bruh, I'm telling you, fam. I've been thinking about getting one, though. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know where I'm gonna get this out, man. I don't know what I'm gonna get either, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Nah, it's around. I'm not Muslim, but shit. Shout out to all the Muslims, bro. You ain't gonna be able to see it. See, here, here y'all niggas go with this dick sucking shit. Woody Ski, Woody Ski. Let me see your profile picture, bitch. Look at that shit. Nigga I ain't got no profile picture. Nigga, you not a real human being. You one of them AI niggas. You in the same league as Tracer, bro. Go ahead, get in the red. I'm not getting no red fucking tattoo. That's some hood bitch shit, man. That's some stripper shit. Guess who back? Solo, we don't give a fuck, bro. We don't give a flying fuck whether you back or not. Nigga, just join and shut up. Nigga got to introduce himself. Hey, y'all. That bitch ass up. We don't care, bro. Come on, man. Get humble on your forehead. I'm going to put, nah, I'm going to get one of them dumb ass. I'm going to get a, yo, I'm going to get a tattoo that say risk equals rich or some dumb shit. Man, I'm going to get a Bible verse. Fuck it. Yo, POTG, stop fucking laughing. There's nothing, nothing's that fucking funny, bro. Stop it. You too old for this shit. Like, nigga laughing too hard, bro. What the fuck is you laughing at? This shit not that funny. I swear it's not, bro. So, you know, just going through your monthly spending, I see that 73% on bills, 8% on entertainment, 19% on food. But, you know, you're the only person I, that I've seen so far have nothing on self-care or anything like that. Are you not taking care of yourself? Jesus. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't really need it. Nah? You doing good? I'm doing all good, man. I heard before that you have an apartment in Rome. Yes, sir. Um, spending money on that. Are, are you spending, you know, rent in Rome and then rent here as well? Nah. What the fuck that mean was self-care, bro? Self-care is not fucking real, my nigga. Who the fuck even made that shit up? A niggas that be like, but I'm finna take a self-care day. Nigga just like, come on, bro. Just say you fucking lazy. What is one day of a nigga laying on their ass watching Netflix and eating DoorDash and shit? Fucking McDonald's gonna really do for you, bro. That shit not real. There ain't no such thing as a self-care day. Temporary. Yeah. Um, And you said that you dipped into your savings for that. Do you feel like that might have set you back at any point? Um, Yeah, it definitely did set me back, but you know, What's the point of having money if you're not going to spend it once in a while? I am fully um, assured about the fact that I can make that money back. Okay, guys, no hard feelings. Remember, I'm super nice, super cool. Um, so, Faze, I have some thoughts on number two being in Colorado still. So, you know, for that reason. Uh, you rid of, did two. somebody say self care? I, bro, we've been watching this for so long, I forgot who is who. Let's get rid of somebody. I'm sorry, Jesse. That's okay. I'm Hi. Sorry. Hi. I'm a Leica. I'm a Leica. Nice. Oh, yeah, get his. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Little bro. Yeah. Nice to meet you. It's all cool. No worries. Faze. Faze. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I liked you. I appreciate it. He was rooting for you, but it's okay. the long term you know. distance, long distance thing, you yeah. definitely I wish you the best of luck. These are all very handsome young men right here, okay. and they got a lot of potential. So Thank please you. take it. How I get on one of these so I can dirty make when I get deselected? Care of them. I'll try my best. <laughs> all right. Thank you. My best. I'm really liking Messiah, so I, you know, definitely want to keep him around. Keep him. Cool, cool. But cool. I feel like. What, what is this nigga? Like, why are he trying to. I thought he said he was an accountant, not a fucking, what's it called? Not a dating coach. What is he trying to jump in for? Uh, you know, That's what definitely. I'm saying. He talking about who you want to keep a boy. boy. I knew it. And his football player, bro. That football locker room. Y'all niggas gay, man. I'm telling you, bro. 
to keep him around. Keep him, cool, cool, But cool. I feel like Walker is a little risky. The gambling just kind of rubs me the wrong way. Nigga, what is you talking, bro? This shit not for your ass. Jean short wearing that, what is he talking about? Why is he even here? That type so, of high risk, high reward type thing? I mean, high risk, high loss. Ooh. So, <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> All right. What are you thinking? I think Big Bro has spoken. So, Damn, bro. Walker, I'm so Don't sorry. Don't tall niggas. This is why I hate tall niggas. And he already getting called Big Bro. Any nigga that she called her bro in front of you, man. He doing things to her that even God wouldn't want to see, bro. I swear, man. He doing, he giving her all types of beating, nigga. Shit, bro. What's good, niggas? What's up, Magic? Bro, this is your second time. What's up, man? She don't even want none. She want stream bean. My life. Nigga Leaky J. Hi, Leaky J was here. Hey. How are you? I'm sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Hey, nice to meet you. It was just the gambling. Yeah, it was just, <laughs> honestly, just the gambling. I, I mean, I can't be. Oh, this is the nigga that gambled his ass. So he, man, get his ass out of here. I would have unvoted him too. Gambling. I mean, it's five dollar gambles. Like it's, it's not like we're. Take it up with him. That's even worse, bro. You doing a low risk, low reward. He just bull. Like you just want to do that shit just to do it. What happened to my number one sub badge? Uh, I think you got to sub again for that shit. What's up, Gabe? Scape, you was the number one sub. He gonna be on the chiropractor TikTok. Go, got to introduce myself, bro. I got a fucking headache, man. I shouldn't have took them motherfuckers, bro. Him. You yeah. could be spending you know, that on her, bro. I wanted to keep you. Exactly. That so, could be spent on a I day. It could be spent even on more investments. You know, so. That's fair. Hey, FaZe, while you're here, can you take a look at my budget real quick? I need some help with it, and the numbers just aren't adding up. Yeah, let's look at your monthly expenses. Let's see what we have here. 80 for gas, 1,000 on rent, and uh, <laughs> 2,000 a month on party supplies. Man, nobody took fucking perks. Where is this tall ass nigga? I don't like this nigga. Uh, yeah, I like the little party or two. But like I said, I need some help, preferably from an actual accountant. So what made you want to work in accounting? When I decided to leave the NFL, I knew I had to pivot. Me being the curious person that I am, accounting just made the most sense because I was able to see these companies Bro, I, I hate this nigga, bro. I, I don't like him. I don't know. I just don't like him. I don't know if it's because he tall as shit with jean shorts on or... Is it... I don't even know him. Like, I just hate him off the video. Bro, I think I'm turning negative. Yeah, I need to hurry up and finish up this video. And get my... All right, guys. I've been grilling you on your spending all day. You can... 2024? Yeah, you was trying to argue with me a couple weeks ago. Nigga, what is y'all arguing about? Nigga, fuck accounting, the government regulating shit for people now. And Chat GPT gonna replace him? He just said a bunch of nothing to me, bro. But do y'all understand what the fuck this old ass, 27, damn near 30 year old ass nigga just said in chat about like government Chat GPT? This nigga old, bro. Ask me any. But PLTG, you be watching CNN and MSNBC, bro. Good morning, America and shit, fam. Any question you want. Based off of what you said previously, are you looking for a guy to spend money on you? Is that what you're looking for? That's a great, great question. You don't. Bro, this nigga told me you don't pay taxes and you don't know shit. If you the same nigga that was just crying, bro, you was crying two weeks ago on Christmas because your parents ain't get you a battle pass for Fortnite. You talking about I don't pay taxes, bro. And you do, nigga? What the fuck? Like, you know a lot about nothing. You know way too much to be broke. Like, I don't get it. At least I'm dumb and broke. You knowledgeable and poor as shit. How the fuck does that happen, bro? What are you doing? Huh? Nigga just talking his ass off. What the fuck is the nigga talking about? You been saying, bro, you, you got his gifted sub because you were sitting in this bitch begging niggas. Like, come on, let's be honest, bro. Nigga talking about paying taxes, bro. Am I looking for a guy to spend money on me? No, I can do that myself, but I like gifts. I like giving gifts. I like receiving gifts, but I really don't have to. Like, if you're not gonna, if you don't want a gift, I'm gonna get you one. Okay, 
then bitch, we not finna buy you nothing. Can we get to the point? You don't have to spend money on me. I mean, he's he certainly has enough to spend on Is they fucking, like, is this like a date between these two? I don't even get what's going on now. Nobody begging, look, bro, who got TV show recommendations? So I don't think that you should settle for, you know, not receiving anything. I mean, if he got it, he got it. <laughs> and he got it. Hi, Brian. Any questions? What are some things that you like saving on a lot? And then what are some things that you can just go on and say, okay, I got enough money to spend on this and that? I usually try to save like half of my paycheck every single time. Every single time I put it was? Half of my save. See, I know what I'm talking about. And he gives you like 10 subs and left, and then he donated me a 20 ball, right? And then you the same one that said, bro, if you do a 24 hour, I'll give you 100 subs right now, right? Thanks. This is a 24 hour, bro, so go ahead and get the 100 right now, fam. Um, and I just try not to go touch it. I really don't. Sometimes I have, but usually I'm pretty good at that. And then what do I splurge on? I'd say one thing I do like is a nice perfume. Okay, cool. I'm taking notes. Hi, Charles. Hey. Any questions for me? If like money was not a concern at all, what would you spend your money on? <laughs> hey, Ray. No bullshit. I'm fucked like shit. I'm trying to see if he had, had dropped that honey. I ain't gonna lie. Boy, I gotta turn this bitch off so quick, man. This is not no fucking 24, bro. I'm bullshitting with you, fam. You gonna end before 12, fam. My head is banging, like, my shit banging. I don't know what to compare it to, but this shit is banging right now. I might just do a sleep stream, bro. I'm bullshitting. I don't even know. Drink some water, bro. It's not. I done drunk enough water. I'll talk to your people at church if you scam. Can't scam a Nigerian, please. My people don't go to church. Pops ain't been to church since I don't know when. He got he up to like three wilds, bro. Like, come on, he living in sin. Like, uh, my mama, she be going to virtual church, bro. Every single day. I swear she's in virtual church right now. She go to virtual tr church every day. <sighs> Sleep streaming that little ass bed. And take your fat ass to Planet Fitness, bitch. You ain't worried about the wrong shit. My little bed, y'all can fit in this bitch, nigga. I'm in shape. A big bitch like you, shit, nigga. You don't have to send your ass to the backyard, go sleep in the grass. Or on the concrete. Just threw a little 50 ball on this Cheesecake Factory called my low vibrational. Your nigga still going to Cheesecake Factory. Y'all niggas poor, bro. You couldn't catch me there. Oh my God, bro. And I'm not taking a bitch to know what's it called. This shit's sad. How you fit in? No bed less than six feet. You playing you six miles. Yo, how tall was the Christmas tree, bro? We talked about it, right? They told that nigga been funny about you, 26 year old. Bro, we talked about this shit, though, right? Let's talk about it again. The Christmas tree was how tall, y'all? Y'all remember the Christmas tree? It's in the dining room right now. I could bring that bitch back in here. That motherfucker was most definitely 6'5, right? So the Christmas tree was 6'5", me next to it. It makes me probably like 6'4 and a half without shoes. Uh, shit, nigga, I throw on the brown bronze, I'm 6'7", bro. Bitches don't know what the fuck 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", look like. Bitch, I'm 6'10". Oh, for real? What y'all dick look like? Got him. Ooh. That's a good question. What and would I spend my money on? If it's not too expensive, right maybe I'll buy it now. for you. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Charles, come on. Catch um, you in there. I don't know. I think I would buy a new car, probably. What kind of new car would you buy? An electric one. Ooh, Unfortunately, okay. I have a gas car. About but about freaking? But did she just say she'll buy an electric car? But I'm never buying one of the most, bro. Go buy y'all a Hellcat, then CTSV, uh, or go buy that Black Wing, bro. Them Black Wings hard as shit. Uh, get you a TRX, nigga, straight gas, bro. I'm gonna keep fucking up this economy until I'm dead, bro. Fuck this world, bro. What that nigga, uh, Rawway said? Last night I had a dream, and I felt like fuck the world. Nigga, fuck my girl. Whatever the fuck, it's big ass. That big ass nigga be spitting, though. No bullshit, bro. Like, no bullshit, bro. In what world do we live in where you think I'm finna go get a electric car? Not happy. Not me, bro. All right, bro. I'm going to check back in in 20 minutes and see if you're okay. I'm probably going to be off, bro. Definitely get an electric one. 
Yes, also because gas in this economy is crazy. Okay. Not really. Niggas be dragging that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, the gas shit be getting dragged, bro. Uh, especially now, gas then went back to normal. Now, peak coffee, boy, 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 boy. Man, that shit was crazy, bro. But nowadays, the gas is way back to normal, bro. This shit cheap as fuck. You get, like, for $10, you can get, like, four, four, four gallons, fam. I know most of y'all young, but my 18 plus crowd, y'all interested in personal finance? To be honest, bro, I'm not, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think, like, see, you gonna put me on, bro? Gay, why? You and this bitch trying to promo. Nigga, what's up, bro? You gonna put me on, though? What's up, fam? Peak COVID was crazy, bro. This shit was nutty. Now gas is all right, though. It's back to normal and shit. It, at least it's like, I think it was like 240 today. So that, that was like, what? Nah, but like pre COVID, bro, this shit was $1.60, $1.80 in Texas. I'm talking about that shit was fucking broke. Let's get our money right. Gabe trying to sell courses. I'm going to let him rock because, like, he, he, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let him rock. He just an old head that didn't want to help out young guys, man. Or give me your social security number. I got you with 10 bands in the morning. Yo, COVID is awful. They're not doing EDD and PPE, SBA loans, bro. This shit dead. You can't even get in this. Come on, bro. You're out of date. Um, if it was way back in the day, you probably would have got my ass, man. Well, nah, not really, but come on, bro. You know? Shit dead, bro. Let's win shit, not just for the whites. It's time to... You know, like, you real positive, bro. You real positive. But I'm most definitely taking this motherfucking refund and putting it into a six leg, bro. If I lose that shit, I'm going to come running to you, Gabe. So go ahead, drop your Instagram, bro. Eliminate the final two. I hate to do this, but that's how the game goes. As much as I would love to travel to Rome, which we still can't do, Charles. We still can't do. It doesn't have to be the end of this. But. Probably going to be spending too much time with one of these other guys. I don't know. Timmy, come on, Charles. bro. White I'm people, so like, they ahead, bro. They ahead. You know they are. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We were going to go to Rome. We can still Come do on. that, though. <laughs> Don't be like that. Don't be like that. We can still do that. Good. Yeah, she got rid of him, too, the dude from Rome. All right. All right, guys. See you later. See you later. Good luck. Final two. Final two. What's this going to be? We have two great options here. Two great, great, great options. Ooh, come on, bro. I think it more comes down to who I have the most. He going to win. He going to win. This nigga goof fit. I mean, his fit is goofy. Sorry. Although we didn't he handsome, end up together in this lie. way, this is not the end of this. You have a business. Hi, how are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's going on? Nice to meet you. Nice Boogie down you. Bronx. Take okay. care of her, please. I got you. I got you. It's nice meeting you. I'm telling y'all, bro. He one of them type niggas. Big bro, take care of her, please. All that. Nice to meet you. I see you got a 